up a password or uh, open up the Explorer for Windows and show you the shares available on that computer. All right, so that was a very, very, very quick video and unfortunately not very thorough on how to set up Samba. All right, one more thing I completely forgot. Go to System Administration Network. You can also do this by directly editing the etc host file by gedit etc host and changing this part up here. But I will show you how to do it through this. Under hosts, I'm sorry, DNS. For host name, make sure it does not say localhost.localdomain. Change that and also change your host file where it says the host name and alias and not localhost.localdomain and then localhost. I don't even know why I've still got that in there, but it works. But I've got it in the other name in there after it. Anyway, listen, the reason behind that is with um, the host, when you're trying to access one Linux share from another Linux box, if both Linux computers are named localhost.localdomain, they'll get confused. So when you go to places and network, and then try to find your share through there, it'll show up, but you're not gonna be able to access it because it gets confused on which localhost.localdomain it's supposed to be accessing. And that will resolve that conflict. You'll get a lot of uh, shares not found or something like that. But anyway, all right, so make sure to change that. All right, um, yet another thing that I forgot to mention was printers. Go to System Administration Printing. Now this assumes that you've already created a printer and on a, on a shared computer such as a Windows computer in another room and you're trying to print from it. Oh, what a time to get the hiccups. As soon as I press record, I get the hiccups. Anyway, for example, this HP PSC is uh, in another room hooked to a Linux com or a Windows computer, and it's shared, marked as shared. To mark a printer as shared on a Windows computer, you can typically just right-click on it, go to Properties, click the Shared tab, and click Share this printer. Anyway, um, after you add the share, it, I noticed that you can only print from OpenOffice.org. You couldn't print from plain text files. You couldn't print from image files. You couldn't print from uh, anything else, really. Only You couldn't print from PDFs. Only OpenOffice.org would print to the shared printer on the other machine. I noticed something. Actually, um, I didn't find this out myself. I found this in an Ubuntu forum. But if you right-click on the printer and go to Copy, and then give it another name because you can't have the same name. For example, change the last number of the model and click OK. That copied printer is then fine. You can actually delete the original, right click on this one, click set as default, and after you delete that one, you can change this one's name again to reflect the, what the real model number is. In other words, give it the same model number as the original. Set it as default, and then you can print from anything. You can print from your PDFs, image files, text documents, or whatever. That's a little uh, little bit to go through for a, such a little bug, but it works. All right, thanks. All right, one last thing. I, I sort of got, if I forget one more thing, I'm gonna shoot myself. Um, go to administration and printing. I'm sorry, this is only relevant if you plan on sharing your Linux printer to a Windows computer. For example, as before, I mentioned this one, which is a Windows printer. And then my Office Jet, which is connected to my Linux machine, is out of printer ink, which is why this one's the default right now. Anyway, if I wanted to share my Office Jet, just make sure that it's marked shared with Samba. And then I'll append another video to the end of this that I took with a camcorder showing you how to launch it from Windows Explorer. But um, I have not ever had to try to print from a Windows computer to a Linux computer, so I cannot say 100% certain that this absolutely works. But um, as long as it's marked shared, then it
technically, as far as I know, you should be able to print to it from a Windows computer because it is marked shared. And as you'll see in the appended video, which you'll see right after I shut the fuck up, that when you open this IP address, the sample shares on the Linux computer from a Windows computer, you will see the printers. All right, after marking a printer is shared on your Linux computer, you can hit the Windows key and R at the same time, and then type in the IP address, type in two backslashes, and then the IP address of the computer that has the shares, hit enter, and then you'll enter your password and username, which I already did before I thought to record it. And as you can see, the shared printers are right there. You don't have to make any extra configuration as long as they're marked shared on your Linux computer as well. From what I understand anyway. <laughs> I haven't actually tried printing to them, but it looks right.